The Impact Lounge is the number one place to be for the real Impact Wrestling fans. What up, what up, boys and girls? It's your boy BQ here. Impact Lounge YouTube channel in the place to be. Bound for Glory 2018 sold out Melrose Ballroom, New York City. From what I'm understanding, it's I think in the ballpark of about 1,200. I believe they sold out the first 1,000 fairly quickly. But they were able to open up some standing room, I believe, and some additional VIP. So don't quote me on that, but that's what I think it's in that ballpark. Now, okay, smaller venue, but the question was for a long time, could Impact Wrestling sell tickets in the United States again? After everything they've gone through, and after so many years in Orlando, I've even struggling to get fans in attendance when majority of the time they didn't have to pay. Uh, that's aside from the VIPs. So it's really good news. Don't let the haters, the trolls compare this to All In. All In was the best marketed independent wrestling show in the history of independent wrestling. It was a uh, historic event. So don't let anybody um, compare Bound for Glory or anything like that. Because Monday Night Raw and SmackDown don't even do what Bound for Glory, um, excuse me, what uh, All In did for attendance. So um, don't let people uh, tell you that. This is a really good thing for Impact Wrestling. Uh, they got got it sold out, and you know if you remember a little over a year ago, that's where they started touring again, doing the house shows. It was under the Global Force Wrestling umbrella, where they did a couple shows in New York. So there was no doubt in my mind uh, they weren't going to fill what they were trying to do. But you know, people want to say, "Oh, well, they should have done this and this." What do you want to? You want them to get Yankee Stadium, you know? So I think they did a good thing, and uh, you should be very proud of Impact Wrestling. So I want to go over my. Way too early, Bound for Glory predictions. Obviously, a couple matches have been announced. I have not read anything forward with the spoilers, like if they're going to announce something this week on the show. I have no idea whatsoever. But I've got eight matches here that I think is going to be the Bound for Glory card. I uh, could be wrong, could be right. I don't know. I'm just kind of doing this for fun. I'm not usually a big fantasy booker, but wanted to see how accurate I was. And obviously, in the comments, you guys can leave you know, what your predictions are and what matches you think we're going to see. And... um Let's get into it, okay? We're going to make this fairly quick. So, opening match. I think we're going to get an X Division match. I'm not going to give you any names for it, but I think it's going to be an X Division style match. You know, probably about six individuals. But I think it's going to be three Impact Stars and three Luchadors. So, it's going to depend who we see in the set of tapings. You know, is it going to be some of the the players we've seen before, like Drago and Aerostar? You know, is, is it going to be that? Uh, we don't know. So we got to see what happens in the Mexico tapings, but I think the opening match will be an X Division style match, Lucha Libre style match. I believe Eli Drake will have an open challenge at Bound for Glory. I think that's where they're going with it. Does that mean Chris Jericho is going to show up? That's not what I'm saying, but I do think, because that'd be kind of too predictable, right? But sometimes predictable is good, but that's not what I'm saying. But I do strongly feel that Eli Drake will have an open challenge at Bound for Glory. Now, this next match here involving Eddie Edwards, I feel good about this one. I know this is like out of left field fantasy booking, but I feel pretty good about this. I think Eddie Edwards is going to team up with a returning for one night, Davey Richards, and take on Moose and Killer Cross. So maybe that is just out of left field fantasy booking, but I'm, I'm taking that one to the bank. That's what I think is going to happen. Knockouts. I think there's going to be two knockouts matches on the card. First, let's talk about the knockouts championship. I think Tessa Blanchard, and this is something I've said on the podcast too, I think Tessa Blanchard is going to take on a returning Taya Valkyrie as a baby face. She's popular in Mexico. She's going to work perfect for the set of tapings. She's a fresh opponent. Uh, we haven't seen her in a little while. Tessa's already kind of mixed it up with the bigger names already. Uh, several times so you got to get give us something kind of different something kind of special that's where i think they are going with this i think it is going to be tessa blanchard defending the knockouts championship against taya valkyrie i think there's going to be a second knockouts match on the card i think this is going to be the debut of scarlet bordeaux and i believe her opponent is going to be ally so uh two knockouts matches and maybe we're going to see scarlet wrestle before then I know she's wrestled on Explosion versus Katarina, but uh, I'm talking strictly here, uh, TV debut. I think the smoke show Scarlet Bordeaux takes on Ali. X Division. I actually, um, this this is a toss up. Now, before Sammy Callahan got involved, and uh, maybe you don't believe me on this, <laughs> I uh, predicted personally to myself that Sammy Callahan was the next opponent for Brian Cage. And I actually I actually felt 
at the time he was going to take the title off Cage. But um, I don't think that's where they're going with it. I think most of us think that's where they're going with it, but I actually think it's going to be Brian Cage and the Lucha Brothers versus Sammy and OBE. Now, we've kind of seen the Lucha Brothers versus Sammy and OBE over and over, you know, with different tag team partners, different iterations of it. But I think that's where they are going with it. I think they want to keep, uh, you know, th this is the match could go either way. I think they want to keep Sammy Callahan very strong. I think they do want to put a title on him in the near future. So that's why I feel pretty good about him uh, winning the X Division Championship at some point. But I think also that um, he made a comment last week on Impact saying that we're the best trios team and, and whatever. So because he used that terminology, that's what made me think, okay, we're not going to get it on an episode of Impact. I think we're actually going to get it at Bound for Glory, Brian Cage, and the Lucha Brothers versus Sammy Callahan and OBE. So obviously the tag team titles are on the line, LAX versus the OGs. When we preview Bound for Glory down the road, obviously we're going to get into this a little bit more in depth. I'm not sure if this is another street fight. I hope it's not. I hope it's not a third street fight. It is a candidate. And I always talk about this even though they didn't do it at Slammiversary. It's a candidate for a, a uh, final deletion style match. Because I don't know what Conan can still do. Now, when Conan had his surgery a couple months ago, I remember it was said that he was also training and preparing and getting in health. And maybe that was part of the surgery, why he got it, was to get back in the ring. Obviously not as a full-time competitor. So this is, this is probably something we should have saw coming. Really excited to see King in the match. and uh, But I'll just give you my early prediction on it. I think LAX is going to win. And I actually think LAX is going to drop the titles eventually, if um, probably to Sammy Callahan and Jake Crist. I think I think that's what's going to happen. And then the main event, Aries, ver uh, let me give him his full name, the world champion Austin Aries versus Johnny Impact. I'm going to do a whole separate upload about this one. This is a match that I'm, I think most of us are a little disappointed in because of the build. No build up to it whatsoever. We just get a match. Now maybe it's a, a deterrent. Maybe the match gets changed even. <laughs> like, who knows? Because it just seems like they just came with this out of nowhere. So, no idea. I don't think... Th I'm not super interested in the build. But uh, because I'm invested in Aries, Moose, and Cross, I think I can stomach it. I think that's going to be really one of the, the big matches as far as the performance goes. And I really expect Austin Aries to, to win. So, in conclusion, to wrap it up, Opening match, I think X Division and Luchadors. Eli Drake open challenge. I think we're going to see for one night only the Wolves versus Moose and Cross. Scarlet Bordeaux on screen debut versus Ali. Tessa Blanchard versus a returning Taya Valkyrie. Brian Cage and the Lucha Brothers versus Sammy Callahan and OBE. And then obviously LAX versus the OGs and Austin Aries versus Impact. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and let me know what matches you think are going to happen. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling related content. This is the Impact Lounge.